It's widely expected that Marks and Spencer will drop out of the FTSE 100 when the index quarterly reshuffle happens later on on this Tuesday. So, what's gone wrong at the once mighty high street business? Well, it reported a third consecutive year of declining profits, falling 9.9% last year. The clothing division was partly to blame. The store's clothing offering has been a problem for a long time now, with the company facing criticism over a failure to attract younger customers. In July, Jill McDonald stepped down as chief executive of the clothing division after less than two years at the job. And M&S boss Steve Rowe decided to take on the role in addition to his chief executive duties. The fall in food sales, however, worsened the problem as the division has typically come to the rescue of setting the slump in clothing revenue in recent years. So the group had to adapt to increasing competition across the board and decided to take a 50% stake in the internet delivery platform Ocado for £750 million in May. A move that saw investors take M&S shares down as much as 4.5% when the deal was finalised in August. Three months ago, the retailer narrowly avoided dropping out of the FTSE 100 for the first time after it launched a £600 million rights issue. Let's take a look at where we are on the chart. A current bid at 189.1 on this early Tuesday trade. We're down uh, just a touch in today's session. We've got support below where we are at 179 and resistance at 215 above the point at which we're trading at at the moment. Uh, but it looks like a long way off as the company continues uh, to suffer at the hands of that intense high street competition. For more videos, join us on Twitter at IGTV and subscribe to our YouTube channel.